All right, so <clears throat> part two. Um, Arsenal Bayern Munich. Um, very anticipated match. Um, Arsenal came out. Um, interesting lineup uh, change for Mr. Arson. He, uh, I guess, was disciplining Olivier Giroud for uh, for some extracurricular activities, bringing some um, a female friend back to the hotel, the team hotel. But um, started Sonogo. Um, I actually thought. I mean, it's you don't start him. He doesn't have the experience or whatever, and you should start your best players. But I mean, Arson likes to stick to the rules and discipline and stuff, so that wasn't anything different. But um, Sonogo actually did pretty good um, for his experience and his level of talent. Um, Arsenal came out really well, I thought, um, applying pressure, dominating the ball a little bit. Um, and then the penalty happened. Ozil, you know, I don't, I don't like all these people giving him, being really harsh on him and giving him shit. I think Ozil has had um, maybe the last month and a half, I'll agree, or two months. He's had a slump in form. But he's fucking world class. Like, he's probably been the best midfielder the last year, you know, with the exception of uh, his, lately, his latest um, form. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but, um, you know... That wasn't the smartest decision. I know the, I know Arteta wasn't in, and the usual penalty shot people, takers, whatever you want to call them. But to put Ozil against his childhood friend, somebody that he trains with every year with the national team against Manuel Neuer, um, you know, he knows him inside out. And, you know, Neuer is way better at penalties than... Ozil is at penalty. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was a shame. He didn't look confident at all before he took it. Um, hopefully he can bounce back from that. Um, he got benched the Premiership game following that. But anyways, um, then later on the red card came, and you guys know what happened. Robin uh, went in the area, a chip shot into the area, and uh, Shishesny, um yeah, he took. He brought him down. Red card. Uh, interesting little uh, gesture he did towards the the ref, which I thought was hilarious. Ended up getting a three match ban. I think I forgot, but it's fucking stupid. Um, and yeah, then the second half, um, Tony Cruz or Tony Coase, however you say his name, fucking guy. I don't know. I guess he has something against Arsenal because. Every year he seems to score these ridiculous goals. Um, I think it was a layoff from um, Lam or Ribéry. No, not Ribéry. I'm sorry. He's not playing. He's still injured. Um, but um, phenomenal goal. Um, nobody was going to stop that shit. Um, and then later on, uh, Thomas Mueller with the uh, header. Um, it's going to be really hard to come back from that, but... I mean, Arsenal got the result last year. They were the only team, I think, at all to beat them in the Allianz. They beat them 2-0, I believe. And they have a stronger squad this year. And it's the Champions League. Shit happens sometimes, so... I know I'm probably in the minority, but I honestly still think they can make it at least interesting, you know? They go up one goal early on in the second leg at, at the Allianz. Who knows what happens, man? So, um... Yeah, it's going to be tough, but it's it's not over. Um, and then the last match was uh, one of my, one of my f not favorite teams. I don't like them uh, per se like that, but I like watching them. Um, and I don't understand why, why they don't get respect. Um, Atletico Madrid, they were playing against AC Milan. They were playing in the San Siro. Um, <coughs> They're, um, they have a very specific brand of football they play. Um, their coach, their manager, Simeone, he used to play for them. Um, and uh, among other nicknames, he's famously referred to as Scameone because he, let's just say he was a little more, he was a little 
overly aggressive in his time. Dirty. I don't know. I, I've seen some plays that, yes, I would, I would agree with that, that he is dirtier than most players but in his time. But um, to, I guess, to his compliment or whatever you want to call it, um, as a manager, they play their hearts out for him. They're very aggressive. They're very physical. And in my opinion, they're the best pressing team in right now in in the world. Like, they don't let you breathe. Like um, at the um, against Barcelona, like Barcelona players, Real Madrid players. Um, after they've played them, they say, "Yeah, we don't, we've we haven't seen anything like that the whole season." Players like Juan Fran, um, Coque, um, you know, Diego Costa. Um, they're they're just a great team. Um, it was a really physical match. There was a few chances in the beginning. Um, there was almost a, a fight. I mean, there was a, a sort of a scuffle. A lot of yellow cards. They um, they kind of, you know, they just didn't want to give Milan any any space. Um, and then in the second half, from a corner kick, um, Diego Costa got in and scored. Uh, a really big goal away from home. Um, <clears throat> that one, even though it's a lower score than the other ones, and the talent, my t- my opinion is a little bit not as. I guess the difference in talent isn't as big as the other um, fixtures. Winning at the Calderon is just that's been one of the fortresses of Europe this year. Um, I don't I don't think they've have they lost. I'm not sure if they've lost, but. I think that one is over. I don't. I don't see it. Will it'll take? It'll have to take Milan's best game of the year, and they haven't exactly had a great year either. I believe they're not even in a Champions League spot right now, um, in the Serie A. But I mean, when you got Balotelli shooting from 40 yards away and making shots, I guess anything's possible. But I, I really think that one's over, and I really think that they're gonna go far. I think they're gonna go to. The, the semifinals or something. A lot of teams take them, I guess, not for granted, but underestimate them. And they play exactly the kind of football that works in Champions League in Europe, you know. Very physical. Um, very suffocating. And that can disrupt a lot of teams like Bayern Munich or, you know, Barcelona or... Um, PSG, like teams that are very, um, they dictate the pace and stuff, and they're not used to, you know, getting pushed around like that. So I'll be I'll I'll, I'll be watching them more than the others, really. Um, yeah, <clears throat> and then to recap for that, uh, for next week we got a few fixtures. United play Olympiacos um, for the hope of uh, David Moyes. I hope they can get their shit together and they can win. Um, glad to see Mata playing first team football again. Um, a player that's arguably top fifteen, whatever in the world. There's no reason he should be on rotting on the bench. Um, Mourinho didn't want to play him for you know a few rumored reasons like he doesn't like tracking back on um, defense and helping out. And but dude, like you can't a player that good, you can't be putting on the bench, so um, I hope that comes back and bites Mourinho in the ass, um, and um, we'll see what United could do. I know they're not the United that we usually see every year, but, um, you know, at Old Trafford, they're always a different team, so we'll see what happens. Um, Chelsea play Galatasaray, which out of the four games this coming week, I think that's going to be the best one. <laughs> Playing in Turkey, um, I think it's Istanbul. Um, that's always that's always tough. It, though, though those fans are probably some of the most intense fans in the world. I think in one game uh, last year during the again, when they were playing Real Madrid, um, I think it was no knockout phase or whatever. Um, apparently, they were trying to. They, there wasn't enough tickets, so they were digging into the stadium. If you could wrap your head around that, so um, I mean, even Sir Alex Ferguson and United when they went there a while ago, they said that's the most intense environment ever. So 
I think Chelsea have a tough task on their hand. I obviously most people will say you know they're the better team, Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, no argument here, but um, we'll see how they do. Um, the other matches, um, Zenit and Dortmund. Um, I haven't really been following Dortmund this year, besides the um, a few Bundesliga matches and um, and Champions League, but. Um, uh, they still have a lot of injuries, but um, I don't. I know it's a lot of teams have trouble playing in Russia um, because of the environment and everything. But I think I don't see them having trouble with uh, Zenit. Um, I think they'll get a result, probably like a draw or something. But um, and then the last match, uh, Real Madrid and Schalke. Um, there's a few players that are cup tied that can't play for Schalke, I believe. Um, right now, Real Madrid's playing phenomenal. Bale just scored an amazing goal over the weekend. Um, Hesse has come out of nowhere and has taken minutes from people that probably weren't expecting to be right on the bench, like Isco, which I think is a fucking shame. Isco is, is one of my favorite players to watch. Um, and when he was playing on Malaga, I fucking loved watching him. Um, so I th I th honestly think that tie is going to be over by the end of the first half. I think that I know historically Real Madrid has had trouble with German teams, but no disrespect to Schalke, but I don't think Boateng and, and Salazar and uh, Draxler are going to put up much of a fight. Um, they do have a good back line, though. They have uh, Howardes. I, I don't know how to say his last name. Um, they got this, the, that one Cameroonian, and I think they still have the Greek kid, but I'm not too sure. Um, but, I don't know, it's just, that's too much firepower. Um, and Madrid right now are playing with a lot of confidence. They just overtook La Liga. Um, they're in first. Barcelona and Atletico Madrid both lost. So now they're solely in first. They're playing with a lot of, you know, firepower and, sh and shit. And Ronaldo, you know, he's itching to play. He got that that ban for that red card so I think we're going to see some you know some shit um they want to they really want to concentrate on La Liga um so I think they're going to try to you know have the tie over by the end of um this game um but yeah that's it um don't forget to subscribe if you have any comments or questions or anything feel free to comment um and uh I'll catch you guys later peace